Draymond, can you kind of try to, I guess, describe like what Draymond does defensively, particularly as a post defender? You know, he's guarded Towns on this road trip, Christian Wood, and then obviously tonight is Ion. He's a cornerstone of our defense. He does everything. He's an anchor. He's the voice of our defense. He's the heart of our defense. I mean, don't get me wrong. We got a lot of other guys who can play defense very well um, and who can step up to the plate if need be. But <clears throat> as great as Steph is offensively, Draymond is just as great defensively. Like You guys have been watching him for years, so you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. And so, uh, you know, offensively, Steph makes the game way easier for guys like me defensively. Draymond is making the game way easier for everybody. So uh, there's no denying or dismissing his greatness defensively. What does a win like this do for your guys' confidence in, in trying to uh, move out of this 9-10 game and potentially into a 7-8 spot? Um, and it is great for our confidence and our morale. You know, like I say, it's always fun to win. And so right now it's crunch time, you know, uh, trying to put ourselves in the best position possible. And so every game is important. And, you know, as we continue to play games, every game becomes that much more important. You know, every game, every day is our most important day, our most important game. And so, um, I mean, I think it's great. The locker room energy is great. Like I always say, man, it's better to win. It's fun to win. And so the energy is just, it's exciting. And we know, but we know we got another one in less than 24 hours. And so we're prepared for that. Juan, you've talked many times this year about how much you enjoy playing with Steph, how great he is, but specific to the confidence level he gives the rest of the group, especially with the way he's played the last month or so. What is it like being out there right now for you with the way he's playing? I mean, if you get into a street fight and you got Mike Tyson standing on the side of you, how are you going to feel, you know? So, I mean, that's the best analogy I can give you. Like, he just, he different, man, you know? So... Uh, I know if I get into a pickle, I mean, I'm looking for him. He's going to make something happen more often than not. And, you know, the defense, he's just a magnet. You know, the defense is just, you know, gravitating towards him. So it's opening up a lot of things. You know, I get a lot of slips, get a lot of open tray balls, you know, just a lot of different things. So uh, I don't want to use the word comforting like I go out there intimidate or anything, but it just makes you that much more confident. Like I said, I know how to fight, but if I got Mike Tyson on my side and I'm just – don't have all the confidence in the world because I know Mike Tyson is knocking anybody out with a haymaker. So uh, I got Steph Curry on my basketball team, man. I feel good. And like I say, if you got 30 on your team, I feel like you're a competitor if everybody else comes to do their job. Well, I'm kind of building off that. Do you feel like being around Steph and Draymond have kind of unlocked parts of your game that maybe you weren't able to show as much earlier in your career? Your career? Um, yeah, uh, but I've always been able to play basketball. Uh, you know, I mean, I'm on social media. I read the articles. I read how people say I couldn't do this and do that early in the season and preseason. But like I said, I was I'm trying to gain the trust of my coaches. You know, there's a lot of guys who come and have an opportunity to play in this league, but they miss their opportunity because they don't accept their role and they don't buy into what the team needs or they're fit for that team. And so uh, I'm more than willing to do that. And so. Uh, you know, Steve is trusting me. He's out now. He's letting me get busy, you know, so um, it's baby steps. You know, I came into this to this league. You got to learn how to crawl before you can walk and you got to learn how to walk before you can run. And so I just feel like everywhere I've been in my life, I've always elevated. You know, I always find a way to bring value to my team or to my situation, whether that's working on a school project or, you know, being on the Warriors. And so, uh, yeah, I mean, I got Steph Curry one of the best basketball players to ever play the game. I got Draymond Green, one of the best defensive players, if not the best defensive player on my team. So, like I said, man, if I got Mike Tyson and Floyd Mayweather and I'm going into a fight, <laughs> you know, my chin is up and my chest is up. Hey, Juan, to follow up on that about Steph, of all the amazing things he's done this year, do you have a favorite uh, performance of his or any kind of like MVP moments that you like the most? Nah, that's that's a hard question, man. That's like asking you, that's like you asking me to pick my favorite pair of shoes. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of shoes and I got a lot of favorite pairs. That guy's amazing, man. It's exciting to watch him and it's fun. So I'm enjoying every moment of it. What do you remember about watching Steph just as an Oakland native, as a Warriors fan before you even joined the team? 
Uh, two games in particular come to mind. Uh, actually, we're here in New Orleans, but the big shot he hit over in the corner over uh, Anthony Davis. Um, and then the game versus the Rockets when he went scoreless in the first half, and then he came out just with a flamethrower in the second half. So um, it's impressive, man. I tell him, I told him during the game, in the middle of the game, I'm like, dude, you impress me every day. And it's crazy because I'm sure he, it's regular to him. But to me, it's just like, I'm having fun. It's, it's like, wow. Bye.